Hi everybody, Judy Parcell here. This is part two of August Sunflowers. And yesterday we talked about putting in the background first. And uh, I'm doing this on the graphics paper with alcohol inks. And I used a very limited palette yesterday. But yesterday's was this palette. And um, I didn't end up using the orange at all. I just ended up using these three colors. And I made the blue background and then I made the, the green foreground, foreground background, I call it, because it's in the back of the sunflowers. And so this is the backdrop for what I'm going to do that's much more dramatic. The palette I'm using today is the same... This is a darker green, the same light green. This is um, the yellow, and this is an orange Sharpie marker. So the yellow I'm using is Pinata Bright Yellow. I couldn't get a richer yellow than that one. It's most wonderful. The best orange I could find so far, and there may be something else on the market that you think's brighter, but uh, write it in the comments below. I'm always open to new suggestions. So I'm using a Sharpie marker. What I did on plastic paper was I just rubbed a lot of the orange in a square. And even though this is all dry, it can be activated with alcohol uh, once I get started. The alcohol I'm using is 70%. Yesterday I found myself into the 99% because I couldn't get the light green to move on the paper. So, who knows what is in these different pigments. Um, you just kind of have to play around and figure it out. But for the most part, I'm going to be using the 70%. So, let's get started. And in looking at my composition, I think I want to start at the top. I'm going to leave the butterfly alone. That's my little... Um, treat to myself later because I don't know where I'm going with that yet. I think that one's going to be pink. That's the only color that is different from all the other colors in this composition. And I'm thinking about doing that uh, because it is the X zone. So let's get started um, with the yellow and I have two things of ink. I've got the clean ink and I have dirty ink. And remember I told you the dirty ink is where you clean the brush if you're going to change your color. And um, the clean ink is to put new color on. So I'm mixing my yellow. And I'll start right... I, think I probably should start, start at the corner and work across... There we go. Start at the, yeah, that'd be best. So I won't be dragging my hand into it. This is a beautiful yellow. And at this point, the only place I have to be careful not to put it is in the blue. Because yellow and blue make, you got it, green. So be very, very careful around these blue edges. Now all of this is dry, so I'm not as worried about this bleeding. So I am going to put the lightest color first, then you come in with the darker colors.
that looks pretty bright against that, doesn't it? Move a few things around and adjust them. Now the more ink you add, the thinner the color is. But this yellow is really vibrant. And I could very easily afford to paint this lower part like this. And speed things up for myself. My neighbor Tommy came over and we did some drawing and painting together for about three hours, two and a half, three hours. That's always fun because you learn when you work with other artists, they tend to point out things that you might not ordinarily catch if you just work solo all the time. So I, I see the importance of that. Now this first sunflower I think is going to let me know how the different values of the background blue are um, going to work. They um, they may be too pale, I might have to darken them up or I might not have to touch them at all. And I kind of talked about that in the video I did with you yesterday. I'm going to have my finger in this in a minute. This is really a pretty yellow. Now, I'm just using 70% alcohol here. Well, that looks good. The first flower is down. I think I'll go straight across and do the flowers. One of the things I like about the pencil lines here is it's a lot softer line than if I use a black marker. And this might like the softer lines better, this composition, than if I came in with a black line. And the uh, Sharpie marker is 
pretty thick. So that would be hard to do fine work on. The Ohuhu um, orange marker is sort of dull. It's not a really good orange, so I like the Sharpie so far. Please, if you know of a brighter orange I can buy, don't be afraid to comment down below. One artist helping another, you know. Ready. We'll move down to the next one. And you'll notice I did one side facing. I didn't have them all looking directly at you. It's good to move them around at different angles to make your composition more interesting. The new idea I got off my friend who came over today to do artwork with me was she wanted to add a dog or something living in her drawing. Her painting is turning out absolutely beautiful, by the way. So she had her cell phone with her, and I said, well, look on your cell phone and then go to Google and look for drawings of dogs and images and she found a couple and she drew them and um, I thought to myself you know there's easier way I could have told her how to do that and that was she could have just drawn it out of her head by using shapes so I made a video a while back and it was all about drawing animals through shapes, owls, any kind of animal. You set the shape first and then um, you, you refine the drawing. Once you get the shape in it, it looks like a dog or a cat or quail or whatever. So I practiced after she left and I said, yeah, I think I will give her a link to that video and have her take a look at it because she's a working woman, not 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 a job, but she got a big place and animals and garden and 
husband and housework and all the things that we all have. And I'm always looking at ways to make things easier for others. You can't do that in every area, but art pretty much. I've been at this a while. I, at my age, don't like to work any harder than I have to. Mmm. I thought that would turn green and it didn't. Move that up there. Got to remind myself, please look and see if it's showing in the viewer. Last sunflower here. What I'm going to do here last petal. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to start with the, uh, the light green, always light first, then dark green. And I'm going to just sort of fill out the stems on this. So being that I started here, uh-oh, I'm going to have to get rid of that. I'm going to hear a little squeaking because I'm cleaning out this little bowl. See the squeak? If you're wondering what that is, that's the paper towel inside the bowl. Ooh, listen to that. Because I'm starting with a new color, I'm putting a little bit of 70% um, in. I definitely have to clean my... Uh, Right, I forgot. That is not going to work. I have to have 90% for that. Because to move the green around, because it has some other kind of properties in it, it only really responds to 90%, 99%, excuse me. I don't know why I'm hung up on 90. So... I'm using the number 47. And by the way, these are Wahoo, Ohuhu, but they're just black. And it took me a long time to figure out what these were. I'm going to use a broader point on this. Okay. 
I'm going to do what I did in that other one for the blue. And I'm just going to lay down color. This light color first. I'll just do the one flower for the moment. <clears throat> now what we discovered yesterday was that this green responds very well to 99% alcohol, not well to 70%. And because I'm covering such a large area, I wanted to speed up the color on this. Also, I don't want to keep you here all day. I don't think you're going to appreciate that. So I'm cleaning out my brush. Okay. And then I'm sticking it in the clean 99% alcohol. And I'm going to go up here, and thank God the pencil does not move. You're not on the screen, are you, again? This is so irritating. So watch this just creamy, 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 dreamy. All right, now we'll go down to this next leaf. Let's do this one up here. I'm trying to keep my, I'm resting my hand on the paper and I don't want it to rest in a wet alcohol ink patch that I've just done. So I'm actually working from the top down on the paper to avoid that. Mm. I just love how smooth this is. I may have to come in here and be a little stronger with the green, and that's okay. I'd rather start light and work dark, because this here is very close to this in value, and it definitely requires a bit more ink. This um, ink here is a warm green.
I'm going to continue on with the stems now. up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing okay I'm just into the marker right now actually that's more of the color that I want on the leaves and I'll have to wait for the leaves to dry for me to get that look of the marker in that's a perfect green for that But um, now what makes the difference between uh, ninety nine percent alcohol and seventy percent? Well, the answer to that is an easy one. The 70% has 30% water in it, so it takes longer to dry. Ninety-nine percent is ninety-nine percent alcohol, so that's going to dry a lot faster. Okay. It looks pretty good. Now, I think you're seeing that I could come in actually with this pen tip and fill out the leaves. I want to be absolutely sure they're dry before I do that. Uh, they may not be and I might do a terrible smear job on myself. I don't even know if the yellow is dry yet. That's why I'm working from the top down and from left to right keeping my fist out of the ink mm You know, when you get this far along on a painting, you don't want to mess it up without thinking your steps through. Because it's so disappointing, and sometimes you can't correct your mistake. And then you're really upset with yourself, though you shouldn't be. But I've got a motto, and that is, you're better, you're better than your art. And you can figure this out. Okay. Is that in there where you can see it? Yes. Okay.
Okay. I am going to go back and I'm going to start doing these leaves now, right in here. And no. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump that. My iPad hangs right in there with my face. Okay, let's cap this. And we're going to get in with the 90% alcohol here. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Okay. Yep. Ninety-nine percent. I don't know why I keep wanting to say ninety percent. Ninety-nine percent alcohol. I was thinking I was going to come in with the dark green, but that dark green is a cool green. And I think it would literally clash with this. So that's just my gut feeling. I need to quit bumping this thing. Pre apologize for that. Okay, so I'm going to leave that like that. And... I think this leaf could probably be left alone. This one, add a little bit more to it. I'll let that dry and I'll start on the second half. This is the last limb here. in there? Yeah, it's not quite in there, is it? No, I'm gonna get this down. Okay, cap that. Get the 90% alcohol going. Start from the top down. Well, from the left to the right. So this is the 99% alcohol covering the palest part of the leaf and then we can go in stronger. It looks like we could actually go in stronger with 
this ink but just using the um, small point and um, I'm going to try that right now I'm just going to cover the leaves and you learn as you go it's just pretty amazing you know I'd never claim I have all the answers I just so enjoy working with these they've always got surprises for you Bart does too period okay So the leaves are done, and I'm going to do the stem. No, I don't want that big point. I thought I had the smaller one. The smaller one. This, this takes care of my desire for control. It's almost like doing a coloring book, huh? That's not a bad idea either. That would be an expensive coloring book, though. Mine now are running 25 a piece. I just hate the idea of in this inflation. Ugh. But you know, people are buying them. I, who am I to say what's in their pocketbook, I guess? All right, so I'm coming in now. Give this a little shade. You know, in the 1850s, a dollar was a lot of money. And that's what it cost to mail a letter to go across the United States by Pony Express. You know, Pony Express didn't last long. Today, what is it, 58 cents? Some things went down. But I gotta say, our mail is delivered a lot faster than by Pony Express. Sorry about that. Hit my head again. Mm -hmm. I think that's gonna work better. Just to color the leaf in with this fine point. Yeah. That background may be enough. Just might be enough.
It is painting with alcohol angst goes pretty fast. I am at 41 minutes and 6 seconds right now in this video. That's a pretty fast painting. And the other one yesterday I think was 53. So that takes about the same time it would be to do this in watercolors, I, I would say. Now I'm coming in and I'm kind of finishing this up a little bit. You know, like I, I would. And I might do something like this. This would be all extra follow the lull. Why not? That'll smooth that out with um, Okay. I think things are a little too distinct, so I'm going to refine this out a little bit. And this is the fun part. We just refine it out. Mm hmm. Okay. I'll make these look a little more voluptuous by removing some color. Right here. Just a little bit more. Rounds them up a little bit. Okay. I'm buying time to make the rest, be sure the rest of this is dry before I attack it. So I'm going in and I'm mellowing the abruptness of this out. Um, I think I'm just about done with that. That looks okay. For now, if I see something later, I can do it later. I think that needs to be picked up more. And pick that up with the brush. And I go like this, and I soak up that extra alcohol, and then just wipe this down to the white and get some shape there. This is just extra futzing that I like to do. Now, I thought it would be fun to attack these. Yeah, these right here. And believe it or not, we're going to start with yellow. You always start light. And I will probably use 70% um, on this because I don't need 99 for this. The only thing I really needed the 99 for was the green, which 
don't know what they made with it, but and the reason we do yellow here is because we're going to do the darkest color last and that's going to be orange. And um Okay. So let that dry. You know, I'm taking it off of that sheet. Okay, I'm just going to go in here and paint this. Okay. And then I might as well get that third one. It's over here. Oops. That is not very yellow, is it? that dry and then I can go back and attack these leaves with the marker that's right the marker that's what I use I'm going to clean this brush off okay let those dry So we're going to go up here, we're going to work on these leaves, and I think I'll go here and work down. So we'll start here with um, laying in some more color. Let me see how that works out. I may be creating more work for myself than I need to. No, I gotta get into the 90 here. 99. 99, Judy. Get it in your head. 99, not 90. Where are you getting that? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know what I gotta do. I'm doing this wrong. Okay. No more broad point. Now because that green in the background is kind of pale, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to put a, these are, I'm going to put these in. Okay. That down there. And I always stagger those um, veins. I never make them even. So this one is sort of in the background. And um, I'm going to do very little with this one. I kind of want that to be faded. There we go. But this one... I better come in here first. I'm gonna quit knocking that camera. I don't know why I'm having difficulty. I know why. Because I'm standing at this art project instead of 
setting. I am on hormones for the first time since I've been a young woman. And I'm confessing to you, I had a hysterectomy many, many years ago. Little did I know I was going to start paying for that energy-wise and health-wise. And my health care provider realized that I needed to be back on hormones. And I have never felt better. Um, I am my old self. I'm approaching 80 in November, this November, it's just a few months away, and um, I'm feeling 40. So that's probably why I have close to 70 videos up <laughs> on YouTube teaching you how to do art. I'm actually very fortunate to have the good health I have in spite of my diabetes. Absolutely. Of course, I'm very careful with my diabetes. You eat a candy bar, it doesn't care what your excuses are. It just doesn't care. One more to go. Kind of soft, isn't it? Now that I am at this stage of it, I am studying it to see. Ah, yes, the piece de la resistance I've been waiting for. To to put the orange in, and I'm just going to do semicircles. Kind of like that. Okay. Now, there is a little interesting thing that comes to mind for me while I'm waiting for that to dry, and that is to come in and add some yellow to these leaves. Not much, just a hair. A hair or two. You know, like, almost like they're starting to die. And that, that ties them in with the blossoms. This is just some tricks you can learn. I'd like to put 
put some yellow here right across the top of that yeah okay and I am back to using the 70% alcohol to do this A little bit of this goes a long way. There you go. Just about out of that yellow on that sheet. Okay, that kind of livens it up a little bit. Okay, now I want to get in here, and this may be too much. How are we doing this? I'm all I'm doing is going over this with alcohol because there's already yellow there. And I'm kind of spreading this around a little bit. Mm hmm Yeah, that's going to work. It's not real harsh, but... Mm hmm Is the 90 better? Might be. Yeah. The 90's better. Okay. Okay. Boop starting to bleed in there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 99 on load this up on the brush instead and see how this works better. If it does, it does. Yeah. Experimenting's half the battle, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Almost a rosy color. You just never know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just suggesting. A little bit of color. There we go. I'm wondering if I dotted this, if this would be better. Yeah, I think that's much better. Well, it's a little wet. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta kind of. Experiment around. Mm -hmm. Good. What do you think of that? It almost is a pink, huh? Let's uh, take a little of the 90. 
Mm -hmm. Yep. I don't know. Oh. I did notice that the more shade I put up here, the better this does. Stands out a little higher. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Same here. Don't need to be afraid to lay on the color. I tell my students that in my classes, you would think, I get it. All right, so the butterfly, I was thinking pink, maybe, maybe pink wouldn't be okay. Pink and purple? That would be totally different, wouldn't it? So what's going to go with blue? I could do a yellow with a pink and... And I got enough yellow there to float a ship. Enough blue, enough green. Just want to do this to finish this up. What do you think the butterfly should be? Well, I'm going to experiment. Why pink is in my brain, I don't know. But I'm going to try it. Pink and purple. Um, I'll do pink against the blue and purple in the center. I think that would be the best. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're just about finished here. I didn't want to drag this into a third one. So if you have remained to the end, you are a good, attentive person. And I'll really lay that pink on. And the reason for that is that I would like it to be um, a bit more intense against the blue. So, yeah, this is going to work. Okay. So, we got to do purple. Purple. Oof. I can thin the purple down, that's right, if I want to, so i got to remember that. Actually, we'll bring that up there, and we'll bring that here. Okay, now I'm going to take the 70% alcohol, maybe I should not do this quite this soon, but we'll do it this way. And I didn't want to put too much of that on there because it's so intense. Um, yeah, it's, ah, that's much better. Yeah, it's getting there. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm Now, if I remember correctly, I was able to use the pink to smooth this out more, make this more purpley. And that's not a bad idea here. There we go, right there. That's still wet. Okay. I'll leave that be. Here we have it. I'm going to end this video here. I want to thank you for your patience and time uh, spent with me. And I hope you learned some stuff you can really use. Uh, I've enjoyed this. It's been a learning experience for me as well. <clears throat> So, you have a good rest of your day, and I will see you the next time. Take care.